this is the first poster I got at the BMW dealership in Daytona when I went to visit the dealership for the first time and I had no idea what BMW motorcycles were like. I believe I take, took a test drive that day. I may have taken it later after getting the poster. I don't know, but anyway, did I say drive or ride? It doesn't matter. Anyway, some people get hung up on that. I know some people have told me, hey, uh, drive safe or something like that. And I'm like, I'm on a motorcycle. I'm, I'm riding, I don't drive. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So the, this is celebrating the Paris Dakar race and it is a grueling desert race. Most people don't survive. <laughs> That's just the way it is. And BMW placed one, two, three, and four that year. This was the year 2000. Yeah. So it may have been the 99 race or the 2000 race. I'm not sure. I'd have to look that up. Now, oh, it says uh, Paris Dakar Cairo Rally 2000. So it must have been that. And when I looked this poster up online, I could not find it. I know I don't have it on, on here. That's the R32. But I searched the images for this poster. I searched eBay for this poster. I didn't look at Etsy. Maybe somebody on Etsy has it. So I'm thinking this is somewhat rare. I don't know. I put a pinhole. I've got some tape on here. So I didn't treat it very well over the years. Oh, boy. This poster is 23 years old. I just realized that. Okay, so anyway, let's get back to what we have here on the bottom. It says that they did first place with an F650RR. The F650 is, is a single, the F650 series of bikes are single cylinder bikes. And then we have second place with a F650RR. And then pictured is the R900RR, which got third place and then another F650RR. Now, the boxer motors, as you can see, the cylinders are out the side, just like the original, the original R32, has the little cylinders out the side. So it's a boxer engine. They're usually air and oil cooled. Now, for a race such as this, I thought maybe this was liquid cooled, but then when I look at it again, maybe not, because back then, at the time of of this poster in the 2000s. They had 800s engines and they had 1100 engines and they were the boxer twin cylinder engines and they were air oil cooled. And the oil coolers were down here on the frame, almost with well, almost in line with the forks here. And then later they, they put them in 2002. Yeah, 2002, I believe, is when they moved them upwards and they put them in here. So this predates those bikes, like the Rockster has, has that up there. And the one that I've shown you in earlier videos, that yellow with the gray stripes, that one that looks just like a bike I had before, which was the Rockster. Rockster. Anyway, uh, they put the oil filters up higher. So I see oil filters, or not oil filters, I'm sorry, oil coolers up here. But I don't see a radiator. So it could be air and oil cooled, even in this poster. There's nothing on the back, and that's it. So that's pretty neat. I mean, like I said, I couldn't find this poster online, so that's pretty neat that I was able to get a poster and keep it this long. It looks pretty good, it's pretty good condition, really despite the little tapes I've got on it here and there. And a pinhole here where I put a pin through it. But you'll see that hanging behind my monitor here from time to time. And now you know what it is. It says, what 176 other riders ate for 18 days on the way to Paris to, De uh, to Cairo. And it's dust. Because BMW swept one through four in the year 2000. There you go, a little bit of history on BMW motorcycles. I'll see you later with some more.